were asked to fly to the vicinity of Cody, Wyoming. There was a hunter who had been bucked off of a horse and was injured. Um, no other rescue assets could get to him at the time. Once we received the call, we already had an aircraft set up actually with 90% of the equipment because we were headed out to do a training flight to train this exact type of exercise yesterday with a different pilot. Because that pilot was untrained at the time, we did some uh, shuffling of our crew and put a more experienced crew up front. My specific role was that I would be lower down on the hoist and start conducting patient care and getting him ready to package and lift out of there to transport to the hospital in Cody, Wyoming. Gathered the necessary equipment that our medics needed. So we used the Stokes basket as well as a backboard. And launched with the intent of receiving more information en route. We were able to meet with the sheriff as well as that civilian medevac helicopter pilot who gave us further information and then launched out of Cody and performed the rescue. We're able to use his sleeping bag to help keep him warm as well as our HBMK kit. We also started him on fluids. Our biggest thing was once we got on the ground, was to get him stable enough for the flight, for the lift out of that area, keep him as comfortable as possible with his injuries. And drop the patient back off in Cody where there was an ambulance waiting to take him to the hospital. I think training is one thing, but actually executing the mission is really what drives the passion of our aviators, our medics, our crew members to stay in the National Guard and continue to perform the mission for the state. The whole thing is exciting. But of course, riding the hoist tandem with the patient, that's my favorite part. At that point, I'd never lose patient contact. So I'm with him from the start to the end.